Well, uh, when I lost the Vizio, that's where I was flying from, that sort of platform there. It's the old sort of gate, gatehouse uh, part of the area. And I searched this whole area. It's a pretty big area. That's the actual viaduct out there, look. All this area in front was where I searched. And in reality, Probably about the centre of the screen there is about where I was going out to, into the sun. And what I should have done, I should have just carried on about 100 metres out in that direction and I would have come straight to it because that's where it was, on the grass. Uh, so if ever you lose your drone, just go out in the direction it, you last saw it in. That's where it's going to be. They usually come down. I thought this thing would just carry on going straight over the over the viaduct but now it, it auto lands this one so that's where I should have gone I wasted a lot of time searching this whole area probably about 45 minutes or so remember you've got limited battery time uh, I'd only just set off so I knew I had 10 minutes flight time roughly on the Vizio but uh, it actually 45 minutes later it was still piled up so I was pretty lucky really I'll show you a little trick with the Wi-Fi app where you can uh, find it but it was it was out towards the bridge about 100 metres out from this position, centre of the screenish, that's where it was. I'll show you this little trick with the with an app I found. So this is the flight footage from the video where I lost my Vizio XS 809HW. Uh, it's a really nice day. I'm at Benali Viaduct, and goodness knows why, but I'm flying out to the viaduct. Now this thing has no range whatsoever. I've just been flying the Hubson H502C and that's really got really good range. Anyway, it's catching the wind. The wind's going out towards Viaduct. It's up in the sky. I lose it in the sun. The sun's glaring down. And I lose orientation, basically. I look down at the FPV. The FPV is frozen. That literally has a range of about 20 metres. This thing's going out towards the bridge. I can't see it. I've still got control, it's pitching, I'm yawing, but I'm in low rates. This thing needs to be in high rates when you're in wind. So I'm, I just don't know where I am in the sky. Anyway, this thing's coming down. It's about here where I lose lose control, just because out of range here. You'll see that black area in the next part of the video. And it's auto lands, basically when it loses signal it auto lands. So, but I'll show you how a uh, I searched this whole area for 45 minutes, couldn't find it anywhere, but I'll show you how I used a Wi-Fi detector app on my phone that I just realised I had uh, to pick up its signal after 45 minutes. So watch the next part. So I was searching this whole area. That's where I was flying from over there. It's the bridge. And uh, I just remembered about the Wi-Fi app that I had, so I flicked it on. This was probably about 45 minutes later, flicked it on. And I was coming over this way, the signal was getting stronger. I was getting bars on the signal strength. So I was flicked over to the meter about this point, and uh, it was going up and up and up, stronger and stronger. And then eventually, this is where I found it. So it wasn't actually that far away. That's where it was over there, just to the right of the windmill on that concrete section. That's that little black area in the flight video. So I got my drone back. So make sure you don't give up, keep looking for it. Just go out in that general direction, you'll find it. It's out there somewhere, okay? Hope that's helped somebody. I'm just glad to get it back. It was only a cheap drone, but now I know how these guys feel. When they lose DJIs and stuff like that, they must be absolutely gutted. So, anyway, glad I got it back. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and uh, if you like these videos I'll be making a few more, bye for now.